Well, it is Halloween. <clears throat> October is almost officially over. I hope uh, all of your Halloween plans uh, exceed your expectations. We'll start with a disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, um, for the last three hours we've been talking about a higher close on the E-mini. <coughs> now, how can you make those calls? Definitely looking at a P and we have the tendency for the market to rally and close up into the um, FOMC announcement the day before that and of the day there so it's not too difficult a call to make if you know <coughs> know your um, know the beast that you're trading working with inside day on um, today's activity so that's trading range that will fit for tomorrow don't think we can break it out until the Fed has spoken. And right here, we've got extension up and in period. So <clears throat> our calls were pretty good. Many we had uh, sell failure to take out 75. We had a 70 to 72 buy, the low 69. And we've never really got too far away from where we like the market find a place to buy it big news tomorrow ADP plus 210 if that number hits uh, definitely good for the economy PMI flash manufacturing 54.5 ISM the one they'll pay attention to 59.5 could come in higher than forecast Construction spending zero and crude inventories. I don't have those, I won't get them. The focus will be ADP ISM manufacturing. Um, <clears throat> if the market were to close right here, right now, selling 78s to 80s, 84, 86 for sell two. The buy side will leave at 70, 72. Could pay as high as 73.75 right there. And then 65, 67 for buy two. Well, we had a pretty good day in the e mini. Didn't have any volatility to work with, which is pretty typical these days. And um, Well, Layla, Leela can do that to you. She's rough. You ought to hear her uh, do it again. She's got more than gravel in her voice. Smoke too many cigarettes, I guess. Uh -huh. Okay, looking at the note uh, we're actually a little higher today <clears throat> we're going to fold all this into a K split kind of a move out of the middle see how far it takes us uh, the FOMC meeting tomorrow uh, the bond can and note can sell into that but F1 right here says find a place to buy it There's a school of thought out there that the uh, market is oversold. If we look inside the congestion area, definitely dealing with a B. And if we do a Q split, definitely dealing with a B. So we have a move out of the middle. And uh, right now we'd be looking for a move out of the uh, 24, 30, 31 area. Um, selling 31s to 3s. 7 to 11 for sell 2. Um, 
24, 28 by 1, 17 to 21 by 2. Uh, we're going to have a Newsday trading opportunity tomorrow on the FOMC announcement, we'll, as we will on Friday for the non-farm payroll announcement. As we will for tomorrow for crude oil, so we're going to get a lot of practice on our on, on our Newsday trades tomorrow. Looking at the 30-year, and I hope everybody had fun today. I mean, it just um, you know. We have these days where we just don't have a whole lot of volatility, and we shift gears a little bit. We um, try to execute at the market's edges as opposed to joining. Uh, that's what you have to do in the uh, bond and the note, but on the other markets, uh, because we have our skills that we've honed with the bond and the note, we can do it with those two. Uh, 16 to 20. 1. Sell 23 to 27. 31 to 03 for sell 2. Uh, we caught this market very, really well today too. 4 to 8 is number 1. 29 to 01 buy 1. And 17 to 21 buy 2. Uh, probably going to look at another pretty quiet day tomorrow, maybe 12 ticks of range during the day session until the Fed speaks. And looking at gold, definitely a B. Uh, looking for a move out of the uh, 78 area right there. May may have it. Um, market is in the sell mode because the Fed is raising interest rates. My guess is we'll finish tomorrow lower than we did today. So, looking at the F2 screen, that was 250 increment. This is 50 cents increments. So, right in here, um, got where it makes 74, 76, so uh, one. Maybe somebody will lose their nerve, 79, 81. Short cover in London, help us get in. 68 to 70 by one. And 64, 66 by two. Scott's long at 68.40. Now I'd assume he's still in that trade, which is um, really a nice trade. And a little bit different time frame. Scott, I believe, will hold trades overnight. I like to be flat overnight, so. Okay, I, I think crude, the play is stops above 55. I don't know what it's going to take to get there, but um, F1 screen says find a place to buy it. Uh, 58 was double tested this afternoon and held and led to the selling into the close, but we were able to get a nice long trade based on our idea of a short squeeze and made a nickel to a dime depending on how you played it and um, I have an F split picking up this move out of the middle so as long as we stay above a quarter this market can rally so 54, 54, 75, sell one we have the APIs tonight 55 even, 55 and a quarter, sell two. Um, fundamentally, 54, 54 and a quarter, buy one. And 53, 50, 53, 75, buy two. But we're going to have news that will put us into the trades. And 
and we'll do FOMC trade tomorrow. Now the FOMC, I don't, I haven't seen if uh, Yellen's got a, a speech at 2:30. Um, my guess is they're going to leave everything unchanged, but say with the guidance that everything <clears throat> is on track to raise interest rates in December. Fed tells you exactly what they're going to do. We choose not to believe them most of the time. Okay, higher high, higher low. F1 says find a place to buy it. I think we'll have a pretty quiet day tomorrow until the Fed speaks. Definitely a P. Last rotate up stopped at. Uh, 98 so we'll make uh, 95 05 cell 1 17 25 cell 2 don't see this getting there um, 60 to 70 by 1 40 to 50 by 2 That's it for this October the 31st, 2017. We'll pick it up bright and early in the morning. I'm out of here.